Now, you ask different people, right? You ask different schools of thought, so to speak, what the best way to get with a woman is or what the best method is or all of that good stuff, right? And you have the game people, you know, the guys that uh, talk about, hey, well, you know, if you say these pickup lines and if you wow her with your words and all that good stuff, and that she'll just fall in love with your personality, okay? And these folks claim, you know, usually pickup artists, they claim it doesn't matter how you look, okay? It doesn't matter how you look. You just have to say the right words. You just have to tell her the right things because women are emotional creatures, which is true. So you just have to tap in and emotionally connect with her. Then on the other side of the spectrum, you know, you got the the hardcore guys, hardcore looks guys that are just <laughs> that are so obsessed with looks that they measure. Yeah, I'm not kidding. If you've seen any of these black pill videos, these incels measure your eye. They measure a man's eyelids and his jawline and how far his lip is from his nose. You know what I'm saying? Like super, you know, I hate to say it, super autistic. You feel me? And that's that's probably the type of people who make those type of videos. You know, I'm not going to get too deep into it because I don't want to offend anybody. But let's just be honest. If you're measuring eyelids, you know, it's something. <laughs> anyway, let me not get off track. That's that's the other one. That's the extreme end of the spectrum. Right. And even if they're not, even if these guys aren't talking about measuring eyelids and all that good shit, you know, measuring your earlobe and all that all that nonsense the the guy even even if they're not doing that they're still hardcore in a sense that they're like you must look look like uh jason momoa okay the only type of guys who get females are men who look like jason momoa's or guys who are super tall super muscular you know we all know the whole looks thing okay and to be quite frank to be quite frank with you both of those schools of thought have merit to them okay now they're imbalanced but to be perfectly honest with you a the best a woman must be sexually attracted to you in order to have the best results in your relationship or dynamic okay so this is a mix it's a mix of looks and how you interact with her and how you emotionally connect. Okay. And I'm getting more into it. First of all, this is Tarek Talks and this is a midnight podcast. So sit down, relax and enjoy. You know, if you got a cigar, light it up, uh, some whiskey, drank that, some Henny, drank it. You know, if you don't partake in that, you can get yourself a nice little fruit veggie smoothie and just sit back all right so it's a nice mix and i know this is a generic answer everyone is like duh this is it's so generic what i just said but quite frankly a lot of guys you'll be surprised are on extreme spectrums and and i forgot to mention another spectrum i forgot to mention the money spectrum which is pretty much the game philosophy except except you're not using verbal seduction you're using money and finances so you're luring a chick in or you're attracting her with finances and nothing else matters as long as you have money okay you have that end of the spectrum so you know don't 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 think this is a a duh type of video because it's really not because i've heard a lot of things and of course Fellas, I want you to take something into consideration. Every video, including mine, are mainly personal experiences or mainly things that I've noticed. Okay. So the best, the best way is for her to be sexually attracted to you, which is now I'm going to talk about the looks. Okay. I'm going to go black pill here for just a quick second. Not even black pill, gray pill. Okay, I'm gonna go gray pill. I just I, I made up a, a new 
pill, a gray pill, not exactly black, but somewhere in the middle. Now, let's just be quite fucking frank. If the chick does not like what she's looking at, it's it's gonna it's gonna go so far. Okay, it's gonna go only so far. And hey, look, when I say do you have to look like a model? Of course not. Because when I say looks, I mean whatever the chick likes, whatever her preference is. Some women only like black men. Some women only find white men or men of lighter skin attractive. Some both. Okay. It just depends. You know, <laughs> sometimes it just depends on the mood they're in. It depends on the season. It depends on whatever. Okay. So it's whatever the woman likes. As far as height, once again, look, you don't have to be six foot eight. Most men are not above six foot. I myself am five. 11 had no problem with women in my lifetime okay and of course everyone has has had their little pro has has had problems with women who the fuck hasn't okay but i'm talking about in general in general right and i'm 511 i'm not even six foot so it's are you taller than than the woman Okay. And I know what someone is going to say. Someone is going to be like, oh, well, these women have unrealistic standards and stuff. Fuck them. Don't don't even. And another thing, too, is the same chicks talking about a guy has to be six foot eight and all this dumb shit. Right. Look at look at who they've been with. Look at who they messed with in the past. Look at their baby daddy. The dude probably want no no taller than five, eight. Okay, dude probably one no damn taller than 5'8. You dig? And hey, look, does height play a factor? I'll be the first. I'm I'm gonna admit to you. Do taller men have it a bit a tad bit more easier? Assuming that they have some type of social skills. Okay, assuming that they have some type of social skills. Yes, they have it a tad bit easier, a tad bit easier in general. But there's a lot of tall guys out there that are lame in, in women's eyes, right? In women's eyes. But in general, if I'm speaking on a general umbrella, yeah, they probably have a slight advantage. But fuck it. You know, if 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 that was the only thing that women stopped at, you know, if that was the only thing like, oh, if he's not six foot four, you know, there would be there would be no men having babies that are average height. Right. You the only people you will see having babies is guys six foot four and up or six foot and up, which is which we all know is definitely not the case. All you have to do is just take a look outside of your fucking basement window. OK, but your looks and me and of course, Brom Wills, Body Game General, we always talk about improving your physique. This is going to give you the best fucking advantage. It is going to give you the best chance. Okay, it's going to give you a fighting chance. It's going to give you a heads up on a lot of folk because most men out here are out of shape severely to a severe extent. OK, or if not a severe extent, then they're pretty out of shape. So you being in shape is going to enhance that physicality. OK, and yes, like I said, this is not some kind of lookism video or it's not some kind of uh, or a podcast rather it's not some kind of podcast saying that if you're uh that unattractive men are never gonna get laid and stuff hey look attractiveness first of all like i said is subjective right but i'll tell you what is damn near universally attractive which is keeping yourself groomed keeping yourself in in very good physical shape you don't have to be a bodybuilder a very good physical shape keeping your hygiene up right and if that chick likes what she sees it is going to it's it's going to raise the factor of attraction that much more okay it is going to raise the the factor of attraction that much more because she enjoys what she's looking at right if she has vision then she's going to be looking Cause let's just, let's not even let's not even sit here and bullshit and act like women aren't visual. They're extremely visual. 
they're extremely visual because you hear them, you know, if, if you hear women talk, man, that'll be like, he's fine. And he's, you know, that's a look thing. When they say he's fine, that's a physical look thing. So for her to be that much more attracted to you sexually, yeah, you, you know, it's best if you arouse her or she likes what she's looking at right now. Now we get into the game side or social. I'm not even going to say game, okay? Because if, look, if if she likes what she sees, then you've done most of the work. You've done most of the work. If she likes what she sees, you just have to have basic social skills. And other things come into factor too, um, like, you know, interests and stuff like that. Okay. Now, of course you have your short term fling situations, AKA bars, have, um, events, clubs, uh, music festivals, you know, you, you, it don't really matter what the hell you do or what you're, you know, it's, it's purely physical. Okay. So we have those instances, but I'm talking about, you know, if, if you, if you're planning on having something somewhat serious or if, you see even the thing about it is even in short term interactions you still it's there still has to be some kind of conversation even i don't care how short it is i don't care if it's 30 minutes or or whatever there has to be some sort of of conversation right so so basic social skills are needed because look now you you it's it can only go so far if it's if you if, if it's like dry every time you guys meet up or it's kind of awkward, the convos don't really flow well, y'all don't have anything in, in common, it might last, right? It might last a little bit, but for the long run, it's not. And a lot of times it won't even nothing will even come of it. Even even if the chick maybe thought you look good and she just didn't click with you, right? Your conversation, um, yeah doesn't even have to be whack it just you didn't click with her so she's like ah he's the he, you know his conversation ain't all there right so yes there is a level of verbal skills and verbal seduction as well okay let me throw that in there let me talk about verbal seduction real quick yes verbal seduction if she likes what she sees right verbal seduction is going to make it that much better because not only are you arousing her with her, your looks, but now you're tapping into her mind with your words. Okay, so I'm gonna give a quick brief example, right? Let's say you guys are met up at a bar or you guys are just walking. You know, it's nighttime. You know, you guys had something to drink, what have you. Now, y'all, you know, things are slowing down. Now your tone gets a little slower. Now you're looking at her, right? But communication is also nonverbal as well so now you looking at her in her eyes now you talking like let's go back to my spot right let's go back to my spot why you know that's her that's gonna be her why why you want to go back to your spot well hey look you know we can go back to our spot i got something to sit we can just sit down relax listen to some music jam out okay right she gonna act like she don't want to do it <laughs> to begin with, right? She got to put up a little bit of resistance. It's okay, ladies. It's all right. Okay. But yeah. So, you know, it's, it's the, the verbal seduction part is also important as well because it's, it's the cherry on top. It really is. It really is the cherry on top. If she sees you as physically attractive, you being uh, verbally arousing as well is just going to be that cherry on top. You know, metaphorically or literally, you know, depending on what you like to do, whipped cream and cherries, all that good stuff, you know, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this podcast. Peace.